don't know who needs to hear this, but God does. Here's the truth, here's the facts. Not everybody is supposed to like you. Tea comes in different flavors for a reason. Back in my single years, there was a gentleman that was interested in getting to know me and I wanted to know him a little better, so I talked to somebody we knew mutually. I asked her what he was really about. She ended up getting her husband involved because he knew the guy better and he said something that has forever stuck with me. He ended up saying he's a nice guy and everybody likes him, but that's not a good thing. And I'm thinking, that's not a good thing. He's a nice guy. Everybody likes him. He further went on to explain because he's a nice guy and he gets along with everybody because nobody had anything bad to say about him, he stood for nothing. If everybody gets along with you, you stand for nothing. You don't know who you are and nobody else knows who you are. If everybody likes you and everybody gets along with you, you're probably playing it too safe. With some people, it's a compliment that they don't like you. Jesus said, you will be hated for my name's sake. And what fellowship does darkness have with light? The apostles actually would walk away rejoicing when they were persecuted for Christ. We have to get to that point where we're actually celebrating the hate. I know it's hard when everybody doesn't like you, but how he made you is how he likes you. Remember, we're not living to be liked by the crowd, but loved by the one. Not everybody likes you. That's okay, my friend. That's exactly how we like it.